W1 Pro tutorial series, first flight. We are going to the demo part of the flight operation. Install W1 Pro protective cover and battery before flying. Mount and fasten the phone to the stand. Scan the QR code to download and install the app SIMA Air. Place the aircraft on the surface level. Switch on the remote control and aircraft. Complete the code matching. Then connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot and click to open SIMA Air. Click Preparations on right bottom corner to enter the horizontal calibration page. Then click Calibrate. When the indicator light changes from flash to steady, the horizontal calibration is completed. Next, enter the Compass calibration page. Click Calibrate. Rotate the aircraft horizontally for two to three turns. When the indicator light changes from slow flash to fast flash, rotate the aircraft vertically for two to three turns. When the indicator light changes from flash to steady light, the compass calibration is completed. Click Start to enter the operation page. When the aircraft cannot search satellite signals, the GPS icon will be flashing. At this time, light of the optical flow icon is on. Flying will be in the optical flow fixed point mode. When the aircraft can search for satellite signals, the optical flow icon will be flashing and the GPS icon is steady. The rear indicator changes from yellow to green and the aircraft enters GPS flight mode. First, to push the left joystick up. When the propellers are spinning, push the left joystick up again to take off. You can also one lock and click the triangle button at the left bottom corner as one key takeoff. Just wipe to the right to confirm. Then the aircraft automatically takes off to a certain height and hovering in the air. Next, we do some basic operations. Push the left joystick up for ascending and pull down for descending. Push left to rotate counterclockwise and push right to rotate clockwise. Push the right joystick up for forwarding and down for backwarding. Push left for left side flight and right for right side flight. Final is about landing operation. Pull the left joystick to the bottom for landing. Hold it for 3 seconds until the propellers stop spinning. You can also click the triangle button at the left bottom corner as one key landing. Just swipe to the right to confirm. W1 Pro Tutorial Series Novice Mode When you start the app for the first time, flight mode defaults to novice mode. The maximum flight altitude is 30 meters and the maximum flight radius is 30 meters. You may switch off the novice mode after to have normal manual setup. Maximum flying distance is 250 meters and flight altitude is 70 meters under normal mode during the flight. Please pay attention to the Wi-Fi signal and the GPS signal on the top left corner. Fly carefully when the signal is weak. Above are the methods for W1 Pro Novice Mode. W1 Pro Tutorial Series Switch of the Upper and Lower Camera or High-Low Speed Mode. During the flight, simply click the icon of Camera Switch on screen or press the button of Switch on Remote Control to switch the camera. W1 Pro equipped with a 1080 pixels front camera and 720 pixel camera in bottom that you have a clearer and more abundant flight experience. You can click the icon of speed on screen or short press of right joystick to switch the speed mode of aircraft. You can hear beep beep after high speed mode and a beep under slow mode. You may also maximize the experience of all features with a combination of ER. W1 Pro Tutorial Series Headless Mode and One Key Return When the aircraft is flying far away or the line of sight is blocked, it is possible to define the head orientation of the aircraft. You can manually press the right joystick on remote for two seconds and wait for the remote control to make a beep beep sound to enter the headless mode. Under the headless mode, the aircraft is oriented towards the direction of the remote control. You are free to control forward backward, flying to left or right. Manually press the right joystick on remote for 2 seconds. Wait until the remote control emits a long beep sound to exit the headless mode. 
under the GPS mode when the aircraft is out of view. You can slide or long press the home button on the remote for returning. When the battery of the aircraft is low or the signal is lost, the aircraft will return home automatically. W1 Pro Tutorial Series Taking Photos and Videos by Gesture Firstly, by taking photos or videos, start W1 Pro and fly to certain height. Face to the front camera at a distance of 1.5 meters and put on V gesture. The aircraft starts to recognize the gesture and get ready to take photo. The screen will appear 3 seconds countdown, posing a photo pose. When the indicator light twinkles one time, means finish taking photos. Likewise, to take videos, fish the front camera at a distance of 1.5 meters and put out your palm for about 3 seconds. When the aircraft indicator keeps double flashing, the video taking starts automatically. Point to the camera and put out your palm again. When the aircraft indicator stops double flashing, the video taking ends automatically. You can also use the remote control to take photo or video. Above are the methods for taking photos and videos by gesture. W1 Pro Tutorial Series Intelligence Follow Mode Control at Mobile Interface In the mode of Optical Flow, enter the mode of Intelligent Following. Click the mode of Personal Following. Click or choose the target. After locking on the target, the blue column will change into red. The rear indicator of the aircraft will change from yellow to red. Click Switch Palm to control the following. Flat single hand, close five fingers together. Point to the head of the aircraft. The aircraft will start to distinguish the gesture. The rear indicator will change from yellow to red, which means following successfully. Move the palm up and down slowly to control the aircraft up and down. To certain gyre clockwise or anti-clockwise to control the aircraft left and right. Under the mode of GPS, you click GPS to follow. Keep a distance between aircraft and the mobile when following intelligently. Be careful about the surroundings during flight. Above is the teaching video of W1 Pro Intelligent Following. W1 Pro Tutorial Series Circle Mode Set up the subject to track by GPS. Firstly, hover W1 Pro at the subject to track. Next, click the button to set up the subject to track. Select the type to track. W1 Pro will circle the subject once you have clicked Start. Use the left joystick to adjust the flight altitude. Use the right joystick to adjust the flight distance. Click on the subject to track to exit circle mode. Above are the methods for W1 Pro Circle Mode. W1 Pro Tutorial Series Flight Plan and Waypoint Flight Under Optical Flow Fixed Position Mode, click the Flight Plan icon on right on screen to enter the Flight Plan Mode. Manually draw the flight path on the screen. The aircraft flies towards the plant route. The aircraft will be hovering in the air to wait for the next step after finishing the plant route. Under GPS mode, click the waypoint icon on right on screen to enter the waypoint mode. A map pops up on the screen. Click to set up waypoints to plan flight routes. And then click the launch button. The aircraft will be hovering in the air to wait for the next step after finishing the plant route. All above are the operation instructions for flight plan and waypoint flights.